Hallelujah. Can we just continue with the praise? Hallelujah. Oh Lord, can we just tell the Lord something sweet at this time? Hallelujah. What an awesome God He is. Hallelujah. His name alone is great. Hallelujah. And deserves praise. Hallelujah. And of course, he has performed wondrous works among us. Hallelujah. For that, we can give him praise. Can we just lift our voices? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just give the Lord a praise today. Hallelujah. I'm not going to tell you what to say, but just give the Lord a praise. The psalmist says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Can we give him a praise? That which you have entered into the sanctuary with. Hallelujah. God, we worship you today. We magnify your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. You are indeed awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus.
up the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for his love. Amen. Amen. It is not of the good that we have done, but it's because of his grace and his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of Jesus. Jehovah is your name.
us, the God who can heal, the God who can deliver, the God who can fight for us, hallelujah. Jesus, your name is worthy. Let us worship the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us give God thanks for his love, for his mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, we lift up your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. The only wise God. Hallelujah. Not to compare to your name, Jesus. We worship you. We worship your name, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Worship the name of the Lord Jesus because he deserves all our praises. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a mighty warrior. He's great in battle. Hallelujah. And we're serving the name of the Lord Jesus. We give God thanks for his love. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for his mercies. Hallelujah. And we acknowledge that it is not of the good that we have done. It is not of the good that we have done, but because of his grace and his mercies. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. Your name is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are holy, you are righteous, you are precious. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus. Blessed Savior is worthy to
worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, saints, open up your mouth and worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, blessed Savior, he is worthy to be praised. We're going to continue our worship with the reading of Psalm 130. Listen while I read. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayst be feared. I wait for the Lord, for my soul does wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch, watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Praise Jesus. Come on, worship Jesus. Magnify the name of Jesus. Come on, get excited today. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. We are in the house of the Lord to worship him. And indeed today is a great God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We'll continue with the news of him number 296. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord, the Prince of life and glory. Great is the Lord and wonderful his name. Shout, shout again the soul redeeming story. Mercy for all through him proclaim. Great is the Lord. The Prince of Life and Glory. Great is the Lord and wonderful His name. Shout, shout again the soul redeeming story. Mercy for all through Him proclaim. Great is the Lord. Great. Hey, hey. 
Hallelujah. Surely he is great and mighty. Bow your heads. Let us pray at this time. Our God who art in heaven, the Lord of hosts, the God of God, the King of kings, the lifted up and exalted, the creator of the universe. God, we worship you. God, we praise you. God, we give you thanks this morning to be yet alive and in your sanctuary. Your mercies have been great towards us, Lord. You have spared our unworthy life. You have woken up this, us this morning, put us in our right mind. Oh God, you give us food on our table, shoes on our feet, a roof above us. Most of all, the necessary things of life you have provided for us. We are grateful to you, Lord. And as we come in your sanctuary today, we just want to give you the praise and the honor and the glory. We want, Lord Jesus, to express, Lord, how great a God you are. Hallelujah. Greater than any other gods. You are God above every other gods. King above every other kings. Hallelujah. You are the one that is lifted up and exalted. Amen. Above principalities and powers. Above thrones and kingdoms, Lord. You are a great God. And so we praise you. We invite your presence yet again in our sanctuary today, Lord God, as we worship you, Lord, as we share, oh God, with your people the good news of the gospel of salvation. We pray that you might come, Lord Jesus, and tabernacle with us. We pray, God, for your sanctifying presence to be here, for your mercies and your compassion to be extended to your people. Oh God, as you move in the sanctuary today, Amen. From individuals to individual. Ye Lord Jesus, we pray that your hands might be upon us today. Oh God, not to destroy. Hallelujah. Amen. But to save and to extend mercy. Oh God, that we might be able today. Amen. To offer up the praises in your sanctuary. To lift up your holy name. Hallelujah. And that God, you will do the drawing, Lord God, to yourself. We pray, Jesus, for everyone that stands in your sanctuary. We pray for those that are listening to us, Lord, on the different modalities. We pray, God, that your presence might be with us. And that, Lord, as your people worship, then, God, we might draw from heaven. We might draw from your divine presence, that substance that we need to be strengthened in the inner man. So that daily, Lord God, and hourly and minutely, and each second we might be more like you. God, we want to be more like you. Hallelujah. And so we pray, God, for your presence. We pray, Jesus, that you might stir us up, Lord, even for the work and for the rest of this week of service, these couple nights and days of service. We pray that, God, your presence may with be with us to bless your people. We pray, God, for this community of Martin. Yet again, Lord, we, amen, supplicate, Lord, before you. We make intercession for this community that, oh God, your mercies and your, your, your loving kindness and your tender loving care might be extended, Lord, especially on those who are not yet saved. That, God, amen, your words might reach to, amen, the farthest corner of this community of Martin and that the hearts and the souls of men might be turned to you to worship you, the true and living God. We pray that for, for those that are sick and afflicted, those that are bedridden, we pray for those, Lord Jesus, that are still held captive by the powers of sin and darkness, those that are on the street corner, those that are in the fields, those that are in the different houses, the war house and the gambling house and the drinking house, Lord God have mercy on your people hallelujah that they might hear your word and turn to you the true and living God because your coming Lord amen is near at hand and they are not yet saved we pray for our country of Jamaica our leaders in the government and opposition we pray for wisdom and knowledge and understanding we pray Lord Jesus for your leaders hallelujah in the different churches today that are giving leadership Lord and guidance to this people ones who Lord are preaching the word hallelujah that a nation might turn to God the true and living God before your judgment is executed we pray God for your people on the streets and the communities under the threat of violence we pray for those that are driving on the roads Lord where so much danger is we pray for Jamaica hallelujah and we pray for the world at large that God your mercies might be extended so while we are we, we are living Lord amen according 
according to our own order that men and women might turn to you lord and be able now to live according to your standards we invite your presence now hallelujah to move the dark clouds and the spirits that are even not of you that gather when your people are gathered in the name of jesus again lord we have an opportunity to exercise our apostolic authority amen to pull down the strongholds of the devil and we pray that every spirit every power every authority that would come into this place to prevent lord god amen the execution lord of your word in the name of jesus that they might be brought down hallelujah and that you might ascend lord and be exalted in this house today god be exalted finally lord we pray for any sickness of your people amen the diseases might be cured not just in here but anyone in the hearing of our voice hallelujah that by faith right now if they believe hallelujah then salvation is at their door then healing is at their door then deliverance is at their door oh hallelujah because the word says you stand ready hallelujah to deliver your people you're a god of deliverance amen you're a god amen of a different order and god when you speak hallelujah it is done give us the faith to trust you today take over the service we put everything in your hands now we pray for the man of god lord who will execute your word today yes. hey we pray for leading we pray for direction hey hallelujah we pray for our divine coverage now hallelujah shut down this place today lord hallelujah, hallelujah. to every enemy and open now an entrance lord to your people hallelujah an entrance lord jesus hallelujah that hallelujah. utterance and deliverance might be granted hey lord jesus hallelujah and therefore no lord god we look to you and we say thanks for hearing from you in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray hallelujah 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 we pray and god delivers hallelujah. our morning's lesson comes to us from deuteronomy chapter 26 verse 8 and Hebrew 2, verses 1 through 4. And this will be read by Sister Kamika Henry, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's praise Jesus again. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. As was said, our day's lesson comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 8, and Hebrews Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through to 4. Please read. Please listen while I read. Beginning at Deuteronomy 26, verse 8. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. Hebrews 2. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if, he, if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. For an ending, God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. A reading of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise 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 Hallelujah. 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 We'll continue by singing number 12 from the Pentecostal hymn now. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When your wing clouds unfold their wings of strife. When the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or fire remain?
cannot move. It is grounded. It is grounded. It is grounded. Hallelujah. Firm and deep in the Savior's love. Shout a hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are happy that our anchor is safe in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, hallelujah. Hello, Chana will come and greet us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we all worship the Lord? Come on, can we praise Jesus? Can we continue to just wave our hands and give Him praise? Hallelujah! God is worthy, He's worthy, He's worthy. Hallelujah! Come on, continue to praise Him, continue to praise Him. There's no God like Him, hallelujah. There's no God that creates us, our God. Our God, Jehovah, is God above every other God. King above every other king, Lord above every other Lord. And He is worthy to be praised. Continue to praise Him. Continue to worship Him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise God, praise God. We are grateful to be here today to be celebrating, praise God, the goodness of God, the mercies of God, the greatness of God. Amen, because he has done great things for us. His mercies are from everlasting to everlasting and his truth endureth to all generation and so we are glad to be in his house today and I just want to use this opportunity to extend holy greetings to everyone those that are in this congregation for our moderator to our moderator for this service and the ministers on the rostrum the um, praise team our musicians praise God our saints who are worshiping amen face to face and to all our saints who are worshiping on the different platforms and to all our friends and visitors who are joining with us this morning we extend greetings to you and we extend a warm molten welcome praise god to you all we amen are enjoying your company praise god and we sure and we expect that you also are enjoying our company so we welcome you amen as you share worship with us this morning that your souls might be blessed praise god the, it's it's a very special service today a little a little more special than normal it is our usual visitors month as you know in may we celebrate our visitors month and we run a month of service praise god we we would meet here every sunday and sunday night and we would meet every friday night for the full month and we'll have different persons coming to us but this is not normal times and we had to make adjustment so we have adjusted praise god our month of service and we have called it a revised visitors month praise god and today it's a pleasure of mine amen to be opening and at this time our revised visitors month 2021 god has been good to us god has taken us through amen the rough times of 2019 the latter part and into 2020 and here in 2021 his mercies never fail can somebody raise your hands and give him a praise i said god's mercies never fail hallelujah and so far god has been good to us we are all alive and apart from losing some 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 um, close persons to us we have not lost anybody from in this congregation isn't god good come on give him a praise for that in fact you should stand up and praise god yes yeah, stand up and give god a praise oh lord jesus you're yeah, good god hallelujah hey you watch over your people and so we have right to praise you anybody in this congregation has a right to praise god hallelujah anybody has a right to praise god 
Anybody has reasons to praise God? Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and praise Him. Shout a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And those that are at home or wherever you are tuned in to our, our, our service, hallelujah, you have a right to praise God. You have reasons to praise God. And not just that, you have new and fresh reasons to praise God. Come, continue to praise Him. Continue to praise Him. Hallelujah. 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 And so we uh, declare our service is open and we pray that God's presence will be with us, that souls will be born for the kingdom. Amen. We are strengthening the hands of the believers, but we are also out on the mission field to turn some hearts to the true and living God. We can't afford to sit by and allow the souls of men, amen, to be captured by Satan and to be taken down into hell. So we have to tell somebody, Jesus is still standing by. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. Jesus is standing by. Hey. God stands by. And he's ready to do what? Delivered. Ah, his hands are what? Stretched out. And what a powerful hand he has. Hey. The right hand of God is passing through this land. God is able to deliver. Hey, but his time has boundaries. And so you have to do what you have to do in time. Let me just extend a warm word of greeting and welcome to those that are tuning on Facebook and the different platform. Amen. Quickly, just me, let me acknowledge you. We have uh, Shanique Francis. We have Susie Robinson. We have Renee Taylor. We have June Charlton, Kimberly Brown, Alric Gale, Tanisha Smith, Loy Kane, Silbert Adams, Anne-Marie Smith, Rosa Barnes, Sharon Sims. We have our own Quincy. Right? Everybody knows Quincy. Okay, we have Bertram Brooks in Canada. We have Debbie Abel in the USA. And Maxine Ranger, Ranger Hansen. And I'm sure that by we, we, we reach a little further in the service, others would be joining us. And so... Greetings from me. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. And may God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Continue to worship him. Come on and get excited for Jesus. If you came without a reason this morning, you have heard enough now to give God thanks for. Come on, lift your hands and worship Jesus. Shout a hallelujah praise. Come on, shout hallelujah. The song says, get up everybody, get excited. Tell somebody that Jesus Christ is Lord. The praise team will be coming to us at this time in Jesus' name. Come on, continue to Amen. worship. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grimland, there is a friend who walks with me. Hey! 
worthy the Lord to be holding our hand. And thank you, Jesus, today that he is there holding our hand. Hallelujah. 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 We can shout hallelujah because he is with us. today because he's with us holding our hands we can sing hallelujah praise the lamb we can sing praises unto the lamb of God by lifting up the highest praise unto him hallelujah 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 praise the lamb service hallelujah and we have an invited speaker this morning president of jesus and we want to give them welcome hallelujah he and his family they're worshiping with us praising him of jesus and we have some others down there praising him of jesus who have joined us we just want to welcome you to Malton. praise god and be free to worship god you're in freedom all hallelujah Praise the name of Jesus. Before we ask the speaker to come, we're going to take a testimony from Lady Thomas, Sister Thomas, in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. 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 Continue to worship Jesus. Come on, saints, worship Jesus. Hallelujah. And without further ado, praise the name of Jesus. We're going to hear the word. If you're here for a word today, say, fill me up, Lord, with your word. Hallelujah. And this young man is no stranger to some of us. Praise the name of Jesus. He loves the Lord with a passion. Praise God. He is young, praise God, he's coming out of the Kendall Assembly, and today we are going to open up our cups, open up our buckets, everything that we have, we are going to open up and listen to him today. God speaking through him. Praise the name of Jesus. I present to you, and I introduce to those who do not know him, Elder Halt Minister Al Thomas and the Holy Ghost. Church Minister Hal Thomas. Minister Thomas, your congregation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands and praise Jesus. Lift your hands and praise Jesus. Amen. Lift your hand and praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God immensely for his wonderful care. Amen. For his wonderful ability. Amen. To preserve uh, scripture in the book of the Psalm. Psalm number 16, verse 1 says, Preserve me, O Lord, for in thee do I put my trust. And so I really thank God who continues to be faithful. Amen. A song that so many of us love. It says, for all my life, you have been faithful. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hand and bless it. For all my life, you have been faithful. All my life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. And so I thank God to be here in Malta again. Amen. We wanted to be here earlier than this. But uh, something came up this morning that I didn't plan for and consume some of the time. But we are here by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for all things. Amen. Amen. Greetings to our dear host pastor. Amen. Amen. Elder Chana, his dear wife. Amen. To all the officers here today, all the saints, all the visitors. Amen. And of course, those who are joining live via Facebook and other social media platforms. We thank God for all things. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Greetings also from Bishop Andrews, my pastor, who gave me leave to be here today, and we thank God for him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We, for those other ministers as well who will be participating in this service, those who will be speaking for the rest of nights and days that we have, greetings to them also in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to go into the word of God. We want to see what God will say to us. My heart is blessed because he, says he has been keeping. Amen. Even times when you feel as if the burden is heavy. Amen. The scripture reminds you that my burden is light and my yoke is easy. And so you know that help is on the way. For God stands ready to deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help is on the way, but God stands ready to deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to go to the Word of God. We have two wonderful scriptures before us. From Deuteronomy, amen, part of the books of Moses, amen, that the Jews will call the Torah, amen. We want to go to the Word of God and hear what God wants to say to us, amen, from the book of Deuteronomy, we look at chapter 26 and some verses there leading up to verse 8. Thank you, Jesus. And also, we have the book of Hebrews. We have the book of Hebrews, I think, chapter 2 
Uh, reading from 1 to 4. Those two passages are before us. We thank God. Amen. Let's go. With, we want to begin from about verse 5. And thou shalt speak. Deuteronomy 26. Begin at verse 5. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God. A Syrian. Ready to perish was my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few. Thank you, Jesus. And became there a nation, great, mighty, and populous. That means they had great population. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. And when we cried unto the Lord our, of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, with a stretched with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. Nine verses. And he hath brought us into this place and hath given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. Thank you, Jesus. A land that floweth with milk and honey. Let's go over to Hebrews. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go over to the book of Hebrews and hear what the, the apostle says about the same God. Hebrews chapter 2 says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every disobedience, every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which had first begun to be spoken by the law and was confirmed unto us by them that hear him. We want to stop right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God spoke to Moses. Moses also wrote the book of Genesis according to our understanding. Moses was born of the tribe of Levi. Moses grew up in an Egyptian palace, grew up under the tutelage of Pharaoh and the Egyptian way of life. But Moses knew who he was. Moses knew that even though he was the daughter of Pharaoh, of son of Pharaoh's daughter, Known that he, even though he was in the palace of the Egyptian, even though people called him an Egyptian, even though he had an Egyptian name, he knew he was a Hebrew. Thank you, Jesus. And so Moses said he would rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Moses it was who went out one day and saw an Egyptian and a Hebrew striving against one another. The Bible says when he went in, to, when he intervened, the, he eventually killed the Egyptian and hid his body under the sand. And the following day, he saw two Hebrews striving against themselves. And he went to intervene again. One of the Hebrews, his own brother said, Who made you Lord over us? How come you become this powerful Moses? You want to do with me as you did to the Egyptian? The Bible says Moses knew that the thing was not hidden. He knew it wasn't hidden. So now he become a felon. And because of his felony, he became also a fugitive. And he had to run from Egypt. So he ran from the face of Pharaoh. Watch this. But when God spoke to him 
after he went to the land of Midian and was tending to Jethro's sheep, God speak to him at the back of the mountain. And God told him that he wanted to send him back as a deliverer. Yeah. Forty years Moses went there in the land of Midian. And when God spoke to him, watch this. He left, he left Egypt as a fugitive. But he went back into Pharaoh's palace. And Pharaoh could touch him. Pharaoh could touch him. Because God has pardoned him. God has pardoned him. Watch this now. Watch this. For God pardoned you out of repentance. Watch this. So Moses said, who am I to do this thing? For Moses himself thought he wasn't worthy. But God who looked beyond his, his faults. See that he was able to do what he wanted him to do. I thank God who know us better than we know ourselves. Sometimes, beloved, some of us would have given in the towel long ago. Some of us would have done some things that would not be like unto a child of God. But God kept us. Because he knows us better than we know ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. So, Moses went back to Egypt. Thank you, God. If now, Moses now begin to recall what took place in Egypt. That his father Assyrian, his father Assyrian, Abraham left. He was house. Father was an idol worshiper. God spoke to him and said, I want you to leave now your kindred and go to a place I will show you. You, 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 you don't know but I, I'm telling you to go. And so Moses, the Bible says, Abraham left out by faith. And the scripture says that Abraham believed God and this faith that he had in God was counted unto him for righteousness. When they went down in the process of time, the Bible says that a, a famine took place. Famine took place because Abraham begot Isaac and Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Jacob was the, the land was now under famine. And they heard only that Egypt had corn. For God had sent a fellow named Joseph. Even though he was treated badly and mistreated by his own brothers, God sent him down to Egypt to preserve the life of his people. <laughs> Glory to God. When I read these scriptures, beloved. And for those who are listening on Facebook, when I read these scriptures, God moves sometimes in your life. And if you do not understand what is happening, you would think that God has forgotten you. You would think that God doesn't consider you anymore. But God knows about you. God knows if it hear you cry. God knows and feels every time the warm tears run down on your cheek. So when, to the process of time, God sent Joseph down to Egypt. Sold him to the Midianites and the Midianites sold him to the Ishmaelites and they, they sold him to Potiphar. And he became a servant in the house of Potiphar. And the Bible said that the Lord was with Joseph so much so that Potiphar gave him control of everything. The only thing that Potiphar kept Joseph from was his own wife. Because God was with him. God stands ready. Even if people don't treat you the way they should, God stands ready to deliver you and to set you up and to set you in places that people will know that this is God. Sometimes, if, have you ever been in a situation and you want to work it out in your way and somehow it don't work, but when God touches it, people around it know that this had to be God. For when God wants to give his glory, there are some things that he allows to happen. People will look at it and say, can't come good again. But when God touches it, it changes. When God touches it, it changes. So what, no matter how the situation looks now, 
When God touches it, when God visits it, it changes. The Bible tells watch, let me just give you a little synopsis of this. The Bible says that the earth was without, was without form and void. And then the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So when God moved, things changed. So if, 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 if you believe God enough, things will change. I, I'm interjecting this to inject faith in you a little bit. Watch this. The Bible tells us in the, in, the, in the Gospels that Jesus was walking by and he saw a fig tree. When he, he cursed the fig tree, because he went to the fig tree, perhaps there was figs on the tree. But the Bible says the time of fig was not yet. Get what this, what this now. The time of fig was not yet. What's the lesson now? So they went on. The following day, the disciples said to him, Master, didn't you curse that tree yesterday? The tree was, was, was dried up. Jesus said to them, if you have faith, that was the lesson. If you have faith enough, you can say to this mountain, move. That was the lesson of all of this. If you have enough faith, you can do whatever because all things are possible to him that believe. The disciples didn't get the lesson of the day when he cursed the tree. But they got the lesson when they saw the tree dried up. Get that real good. So, the word of God says to us, that, that Joseph was sold to Potiphar. And that Joseph, in the process of time, the enemy came in through the wife of Potiphar. And Joseph went to prison. And again, the Bible says that the, prison, the keep of the prison gave Joseph everything. Put everything under his control. Again, because God was with him. Now, I wanted to get this real good. Regardless of the situation you find yourself in, if God is with you, he will deliver you. The Bible says, if God be for us, he is more than the whole world against us. So God, through the process of time, God bring now these people and make them a great nation. The Bible says, the, the, what they read in Deuteronomy, it says he went down there with a few. A few people, about 70 souls, the scripture declares. But when they went there, they went there a great nation. And the reason why Pharaoh had a problem with them, watch God. They went down there with 70. But Pharaoh had a problem with them because they were growing too much. These people came down here as little bit. So when God said to Abraham, look up Abraham. Can you count the stars? Abraham says, no. Look on the seashore. Can you count the sun grains? Abraham says, no, so shall I make your seed. So prophecy was being fulfilled in Pharaoh's eyes and he couldn't stand it. So when, when God is working in you and people who don't understand it cannot stand it. <laughs> Hope you get that. People who don't understand it can't stand it. So, so, so there they, 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 they was a problem now in Egypt. There was a problem in Egypt. And Pharaoh devised a plan. Pharaoh wants to fight against God. Nobody fight against God and win. Which makes God the ultimate deliverer. For you cannot fight against God and win. You can fight, but you will win. So, the Pharaoh says, kill all the men, child. Kill them all. Because if we get, a, we get into a war and the men from Israel come against us, we can't win. So kill all the men, but leave the woman alive. Leave the woman alive. The Bible says to me that the, 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 the Hebrew women were quick. They were lively. So they gave birth fast. And the, the, Egyptian, the, the Hebrew women says, we rather to believe what God says than what the king says. There comes a time, beloved, that, that if, if authorities tell you to go against God, that you've got to stand up for God. The scripture tells us to do what the magistrates and, and those in authority say. But if the authorities go against God, we are going with God. That, did you get what I'm saying? If the authorities go against God, we are going with God. 
So God bring them out with a mighty strong hand. How to send them plagues, nightmares. Pharaoh couldn't sleep. Pharaoh was terrified. Terrified at the hand of God. His magicians were speechless and useless. They could match God. For no man living can match God. When Pharaoh became afraid, God sent them the last plague. Firstborn shall die of every Hebrew. Of every, of every Egyptian. Firstborn shall die. Pharaoh became afraid. Take your people out. Take your people out. Get them out of here. The Bible says that God opened the Red Sea. Children of Israel went through on dry land. Watch God delivering now. Every time now that God watching the Exodus, God bringing the people out and moving the people. So God opened the Red Sea and let the people of, people of Israel through. When they went to Jordan, thank you God. When they went to Jordan, the word came from the Lord says all you need to do is let the priest that be of the Ark of the Covenant, let them step in the water. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, for in those times Jordan had overflowed its banks in the time of harvest. And when the priest who bear the Ark of the Covenant stepped into the water, the Bible says that Jordan became a heap. Jordan became a heap. The waters heard the voice of God and stood up. Waters, waters I say, heard the voice of God and stood up as a heap. Watch God delivering the people now. For God made promise. And when God made promise, he doesn't go back on his promise. So the Bible says Abraham knew that God was faithful. So even though he was old, he still believed. So the same God who made promise to Abraham was now fulfilling his promise to the people of Jacob. So God says, watch this now. Jericho is yours. I want you to march one time every day. Let the priest come now. And those men who are armed, let them go before the priest. Let the priest blow the horn. Let them blow it. And then, and then you just march around it. And nobody should make a sound. No sound. You shall do this for six days. No sound. Only sound you'll hear is the horn that the priest will blow. But the Bible says on the seventh day, they rose up extra early before the dawning of the day. And they woke up. Listen to the instruction of Joshua. Joshua said, I want you now to march seven times. Seven times around the wall. Seven times. And listen to the instruction I will give you. And they march one time, two times, three times, up to six times. When they march the seven times, Joshua says, Shout now! For the Lord has delivered the city into your hands. The Bible says when they shouted, the walls fell down flat. God was keeping to his word. God was keeping to his word. And when he says he will bring you into a land that flows with milk and honey, it simply means that there is cattle there that you did not rear yourself. And there are bees there that you did not keep yourself. But the bees will give you a lot of honey. And the cattle will give you a lot of milk. You didn't work for bee, for honey nor milk. But you're going to get it. So when the word says come without money. Come without price. Buy. Thank you Jesus. Buy without money. For what God gives to you. You will never be able to pay money for it. The hope that we have received, you will never be able to pay money for it. Never. So when I stand here in this pulpit and I preach the word of God, I preach it under the understanding that I am not better than anyone else, but I've simply received the same grace. 
The same grace. <laughs> I've received of the same grace. I've drunk of the same spirit. I rose Christ from the dead. So the word of God then, the word of God then brings to us witnesses and testimonies that we ought to keep close in our mind. For there are times after God has blessed you. After God has come through for you. When something else comes up, you begin to doubt the same God that delivered you yesterday. You begin to doubt him. If I did this, can't I do that? Yes, he can. If I open the Red Sea, can't I cause Jordan to rise up as a heap? Yes, I can. If I, if I destroy the Amalekites, can't I destroy the Phil Philistines? Yes, I can. So, so watch this now. When, when, when the apostle writes the book of Hebrew, and we, he starts it out in chapter 1 by saying how God speaks at sundry times and in diverse manners by the prophets. He has now spoken by his son in these last days. Spoken by his son. And then he begin to talk about Christ and begin to talk about his lordship and how he's made low, he was made lower than the angels but yet still he, he got a greater name than the angels. So much so that let, when, he, when he came on the scene, the Bible says that the angels worship him. Glory to God. The last verse of the word, first chapter of Hebrew says God make his angels spirits. And they are ministering spirits to those who are the hearers of salvation. I want you to get that good. Angels are ministering spirits to you and I. The angel's job is to minister to you and I. So when the Bible says he's given his angels charge. I want you to get this now. When he gives his angels charge over you, that means he give, the angel has you as his responsibility. Glory to God Almighty. So when I walk, the angels are with me. Glory to God. So I'm never, I'm never alone. For the angel of the Lord encampeth. Round about them that fear him. To deliver them. That's why, that's why the angels are here. To deliver them. So everything that, the, everything that we learn from the Old Testament, the writer of Hebrews is now saying, those things that you have heard, we need to pay the more earnest heed. Earnest heed, rapt attention. You're in class and teachers say, I want no sound now. I want everybody to hear this that I'm going to say. Because this is important. If you miss this, you miss the entire course. And so, those who are prudent will stop everything that they're doing to ensure that they hear what the teacher has to say. So here the apostle is bringing us to the same place. Give the more earnest heed to those things that we have heard. The book of Romans chapter 10, I think verse 17, it says, Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Don't let them slip, because the word of God can slip you. You remember the, the parable of the sow and the seed? Remember the parable? Everybody heard the word. Everybody heard it. Everybody heard the word. But, but only one set kept it. Only one set kept it. So, in other words, the word of God, it can slip from you. And who will cause it to slip? The devil himself. Every day, watch this, beloved, especially now. Every day that you go out, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to go out. The devil is trying everything he can to cause the word of God to slip from your heart. 
You see it on your TV. You see it on the billboards. Whether dig digital or still boards. You see it, you hear them in the taxi. You hear them in your classroom. The devil trying to make attempts to take the word of God out of your heart. As he, as he did to Mother Eve. So you've got to pay the more earnest heed to keep the word in your heart. And we've got to fight to keep it there. Jude says, contend for the faith, which was once delivered up unto the saints. Fight for it. Paul said to Timothy, fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on to eternal life. Got to fight for it. You've got to fight for it. We've got to fight for it. Every soldier, what is, every soldier is trained for war. Even those who don't go to war. Just in case you've got to go, you are trained. So when, when your minister stands here to teach you God's word, listen. Give earnest heed to it. For you're going to meet upon a situation that you're going to need the same word. Which is why the word is called the sword. For you're going to need it. So you've got to keep the word by the word. And if you understand that, keep the word by the word. The only way you can keep the word in you is by using the same word. So David says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. It's important to keep the word hidden. It is important to keep the word alive. Paul said again in, the, in, the, in one of the epistles that the word of God may dwell in you richly. And that you will see the things of God above everything else that you have. See the word of God more important than everything else that you have. Everything else that you might become. See the, see the things of God more important than your thing. The Bible says when the children of Israel went to Babylon. In the Psalm 137. And it says that they were there in the, by the rivers of Babylon. Where we sat down and there we wept because when we remember Zion. Then the fifth verse says, if I fail to remember Jerusalem, may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. So in other words, the word of God and the things of God must be so precious to you that you're going to give the more earnest heed to them. Sometimes, beloved, if we be honest with ourselves, we give more earnest heed to other things. And then the word of God sometimes is left behind. But we give earnest heed to other things. Earnest heed to things of the world. Earnest heed to fashion. Earnest heed to appearance. Earn as he to other men that we think are great. When the word of God is left there. Give earnest heed. Lest they should slip us. After God has done so much for Israel. Israel went away from God how many times? And God, God called them back. Prophet of Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah will tell you all about it. How the backslide in heaven. Oh God, oh, oh, if a man leave, if a woman leave his husband and go and sleep with another, and sleep with another man, the man will not take her back. But well, yet still I will take you back. That was according to their law. So God spoke to them according to their law. But God says, I will take you back. I will marry to you. What I'm trying to say is the love that God has. When, that's why the Apostle John says we love him because he first loved us. Oh great love. I delivered you. That's what we're saying. I owned the Red Sea to let you through. I caused Jordan to rise up as a heap to let you through. I caused the Amalekites I kill all of them to let you through. I cause the walls of Jericho to let you through. Yet still, 
you have forgotten me. That's why the right I say, give earnest heat. Don't let it slip you. Don't let the word of God slip from you. Let nothing take it away. Let nothing steal your joy. Let nothing rob you of the inheritance. We've got a sure inheritance. Let nothing rob you from it. I challenge you, beloved. I challenge you. Take stock. Take the warehouse of your life. Take the inventory of your life. See if there is anything there that wants to rob you of the inheritance that you've got. The inheritance that Jesus died for, that his blood was shed for. Paul writes in one time, said, You have not yet resisted unto blood, driving against it. The book of Isaiah, I think it's 49 and 50, says, can a, can, a, can a nursing mother or a suckling mother forget her child? She may, but I will not forget thee. I will not forget thee. So the psalm is wrote in the book of the psalm, 116 verse 12. What shall I render unto the Lord? For all his benefits towards me, I will take up a cup of salvation. Call on the name of the law. So, so ask yourself now, what sacrifices are you willing to make for what God has done for you? What sacrifices? Hallelujah. Yes, to ensure that the word of God don't slip. Let us therefore fear. The apostle continues the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Let us therefore fear. Lest the promise be left us of entering into his rest. That any of you should seem to come short of it. I'd rather die short of a house than die without the hope. I'd rather die short of a wife or a husband than die short of the hope. I'd rather die, sh die, die short of my PhD than die short of a hope. I'd rather die short of health, good health, than die without the hope. That's why Jesus said, if your right hand offend you, cut it off. It's better to enter into life with one hand than to go into hell with your full body. If your right hand of failure, pluck it out. It's better to go into life with one eye than to go with two eyes into hell. Earn as heed. Earn as heed. And don't be afraid of those who will stand against you. I'm trying to wrap this up now. Don't be afraid of those who stand against you when you stand for God. The Bible says that the righteous God loveth righteousness and his countenance doth behold the upright. God judges the righteous, but is angry at the wicked every day. Keep the hope. Keep the hope alive. Stay under the word. Glory to God Almighty. Mark them that walk perfect and follow them. Mark them that are unruly and disassociate yourself. For evil corruption, say the scriptures, corrupt good manners. Stand up and fight for God, for he will deliver you. Even when you think you're alone, I'm closing this now. The prophet had a servant. The prophet Elisha at Gehazi. And when they looked on the side of the hill, 
They said, we said nobody on the side of the hill. But the Bible says, look again. And the Bible says, when you look again, the, the hillside was full of mountains and chariots. For if God be for us, glory to God. He's always there. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Shall not want. Making me to lie down in green pastures. Jesus Christ. God is with you. Let me say this and close. Don't let the word slip from your beloved. Don't let the word slip. Too many of us now, too many people who has the hope are turning to what the world calls good. Too many now who have the hope secure are turning to the world, are turning. They are now looking at the righteousness of God with a scorn on their face. When you talk about holiness, even people in church skin up their face upon you, shoot out their mouth against you, but without holiness. Don't let it slip you. Don't let it slip you, beloved. Don't let it slip you. Those on Facebook, don't let it slip you. Don't let it slip you. God will deliver you. God will deliver you. When you stand for God, God stands ready to deliver you. Because you have kept my word, I will also keep you in the hour of temptation. For there is no temptation that come upon man that God is not able to deliver you from. For with every escape, with every temptation, the same God make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. We trust in his mercy. We trust in his mercy. Regardless of what the world is doing, we trust the mercy of God. Old people, young people alike, we trust the mercy of God. Old people, when your health begin to fail, trust God still. Glory to God Almighty. Trust God still. If your prayer don't get the healing, trust God still. Am I talking right? Am I in a church that believe? Yes, I am. Even if you don't get the healing, trust God still. That's what the word says. King live forever. We are not careful to answer your concern this matter. If God that we shall, even if he does not believe her, we will not bow. We will not bow. Doctor, even if God don't heal me from this, I still believe. I will not go to the seer. For the God who made the eye sees all things. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God is life. They that hold the word of God hold life. They that hold the word of God hold life. Stick close to the word. Thank you, Jesus. If there be any unsaved here, and if there be any, any joining us on the Facebook, and I'm not just saying, the word of God is before you today. Scripture declares in the book of the psalm today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. As in the day of provocation. Scripture in the book of Acts says, when they heard the word of God and they were picked in their hearts. He said to them, men and brethren, what shall we do? The apostle stood up, Peter, he stood up with the eleven. Says, repent every one of you, everyone, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The promise is unto you. Unto your children's children. And to them that are far off. 
and to as many. Glory to God Almighty. I am in the many. And as many as the Lord your God shall call. Paul writes it to the Galatians. He says, is he the God of the Jews only? He's also the God of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. God of the Gentiles. Therefore, we have seen the light that has shone to the Gentiles and we have accepted of it. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts we should live righteously, soberly, and presently, and, and righteously in this present world, looking unto the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, Martin. God stands ready to back you up. God stands ready to deliver. Don't stand upon his word. And he will do his part. Lord, keep you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, can we stand on our feet and give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. God stand ready to deliver. But the question is, are you ready for your deliverance? Hallelujah. That's the question today. God stand ready. But are you ready for your deliverance? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word has been spoken. Praise God. And the preacher has took us way back to Egypt. He bring us to the Red Sea to tell us that God is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. He has never broken any of his promise. So today, he's ready to deliver us. But we have to be ready for our deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you today as you hear the word of God. Wherever you are today, God is ready to deliver. It's just for you to cry out and say, Lord, here am I. Praise God. Praise God. He'll do it for you. Praise God, just the same as he have done it for those back then. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. As we are about to close, the altar is open. Praise God. And for those who are listening to us live, praise God, you too can tune in. And you know that you know the numbers where you can reach us. Because as we said before, the pool is still open. Amen. God is still in the saving business. Praise God, and God is ready to deliver. So today is just for you to cry out to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. He'll do it for you. Hallelujah. He'll do it for you. I don't know. He'll do it again for Oh,
God the Lord. We honor you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you. Lord, we thank you, God, for your goodness towards us. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you, God, that you still stand ready to deliver. Hallelujah. Mighty God, as we stand before your presence today, Lord, so many of us have oh God, sinned against you. But Lord, we thank you that you're still a forgiving God. You're still a merciful God. Mighty God, I pray, God, that you will touch somebody today. Those who have held captive by the plans of the enemy, by the spirits of darkness. Lord, we place them into your hands now. Heavenly Father, we pray, God, that you will lose, set free those who have held captive. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, as your word have gone forth today, we pray, mighty God, that somebody who's on the contrary part will understand and know that where they are at now. Oh, God, they're at the wrong place. But Lord, I pray, mighty God, that they will come to their consciousness to know, God, that you are the only wise God. You are the only God who can deliver. Lord, we pray, mighty God, even now, set somebody free, Lord. Somebody who's in that, oh God, contrary, oh God, way. Somebody, oh God, who don't know where to walk or where to run. But Lord, we thank you that you're still a God who saved. You're still a believer, oh God. You're still a God, oh God, who looks beyond our faults. Lord, we cry unto you today, Lord Jesus. We pray, mighty God, oh God, that even now, somebody will be loose. Somebody will be set free, oh God, from the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Lord, even now, Lord Jesus, let somebody cry out, oh God, wherever they are. Loose, set free, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We know, God, that you're still a God who's all-powerful. You're still a God, oh God, who's almighty. In the name of Jesus, we cry and make intercession on their behalf, Lord Jesus. Lord, save somebody, Lord, for your name's sake. Save somebody for your kingdom's sake. Let not that enemy triumph over your people no more. Lord, I pray even today that we, as we hear this word today, we will not leave them on the benches, but we will take them and place them into the fleshy part of our heart. Lord, that we will not sin against thee. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words. We thank you for your manservant. We thank you, O God, even today, that you still spear, you still keep, you still save. Lord, we place this altar before you. Lord, we praise those who are listening to us before you. Oh God, those who don't understand, oh God, that you're still a God who saved. Open up their understanding. Open up their knowledge. Help them, oh God, to choose you and choose life before time turn into eternity. Lord, today we give you glory and we give you honor and we give you praise. While we place everything into your hands as we're about to leave one from another. Lord, let your choices, blessing go with us. Cover us under your blood. Oh God, those who are driving, I pray, God, that you will go with them. Be the driver. Those who are walking, Lord, walk with us, talk with us. Lord, to our several of our Lord, we give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we'll have a day. Praise the name of Jesus. Truly, our souls have been richly blessed. Amen. Amen. And we just give God thanks for the word that we have heard today. And we were reminded not to let them slip us, but we should keep them in our hearts day and night. 
And we just want to say thank you to Minister Thomas from coming all the way from St. Elizabeth. He's here with us today and his family is with us. And we are grateful to God that he came and he has delivered the word that God has sent. And the word is very timely and it is for us to take heed unto those words. Amen. Amen. And we have just a small token for Minister Al and for his wife. So we're going to ask them both. There's a basket that will go to his wife and a small card that will go to Minister Thomas. Sister, Clark, Sister Casey will deliver those for us in Jesus' name. Please, please just give attention to the announcements while that is being done in Jesus' name. Um, we just want to acknowledge those who have joined us after the initial greetings and welcome were done. We have some other persons who have joined us. We have Annette Powell, and I see here my good friend, Natalie Fennell Copeland, we are happy to have you. Lydia Morgan, Richard Henry, Clive Sangster, Jennifer Campbell, my sister Beverly Smith, and Stacy Roach. We are happy to see you along with those who have joined before. And we just want to, and those who did not make yourself, or who did not identify yourselves, but you are there, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today. There are so many other places that you have chosen, could have chosen, but you chose to worship with us, and we are grateful, and we pray that your souls have been watered. And continue to spread it around for us, and continue to like us and share us, and God's blessing be upon you. Um, just to say also that 